puzzle battler. So in its core mechanic, uh, you collect creatures and you bring them into battle, which makes this a pretty special type of game. So you bring them into battle and that's where also you get to know the creatures really well. It's been something that's been on top of our mind from the start of the development of the game. And we have, in the team at Snowprint Studios, we have experience from both of these worlds. Uh, and basically what we wanted to do is bring them together to uh, create experiences that are great mobile gaming experiences, but are approachable so everyone can enjoy them. Well, I think sort of the art style of our game is more accessible than, than uh, sort of the traditional AAA games, and that's also something uh, we've uh, wanted to do to be able to reach out to, to everyone. Play the campaign, the great story mode of the game, but also pick up the other game modes that you progress through and that you unlock as you get deeper and deeper into the game and don't sort of forget about them and only focus on the, the campaign where all the big boss fights are, but also kind of go for those other ones where you can gain more treasure and basically upgrade your creatures so you're ready for that big boss fight before you get there. Sometimes hitting the enemies is not the uh, optimal solution to, to sort of battling a challenge, but rather sort of sneaking by. Just keep an eye open and be curious. Growing up in Sweden, I mean, um, a great uh, sort of child book writer, Astrid Lindgren, uh, was sort of a natural thing in, in uh, our childhood. You know Astrid Lindgren? Yeah, she wrote the books about Pippi Longstocking, and Ronja, Robert's Daughter, and she also wrote uh, Madikin and tons more. Um, and she always sort of portrayed strong female characters. When we design the characters, we want to have the potential to reach beyond gaming, right? Not only the game itself. That's where it starts. But if we have a game that people and players uh, can uh, get into and start liking, the kind of we open doors to many more things. Not only movies, but comic books or uh, figurines and such. I think you know, that's something that drives us. Like that, we want to create these worlds. Uh, that people can get into, and the gaming is the first step to it. Well, Alicia Vikander, for instance, I mean, surely she's the perfect fit. I mean, she's Swedish, has also grown up in yeah. North mythology and the children's books that we read when we were young. So I think she's gonna pull it off. And she's pretty badass, like Embla herself, right? Yeah. So yeah, I think that would be a good thing. Play games. Like, yeah. you have, like, you have to be passionate about games, and you have to know about games to be able to do that well, right? So I think you have to play a lot of games, try different things, don't stick to one thing and just play that forever, right? Because then you don't, you're missing out. But not only games, like we're inspired from different uh, types of culture, right? So even theaters or museums, and like mm. just find the inspiration sources and kind of just, yeah, just get out there and experience things kind of that you can find uh, inspiring for your game that you want to do.